Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Yagatua Art Chronicles podcast, where we talk with Paul and Joanne about their life and Paul's career as an artist. I'm Ed Hoskin, and today we'll find out how they set up their first gallery in Vancouver and pre-honeymooned in Hawaii. You had your first period of adventures in Europe. Uh, you discovered a lot of things, uh, maybe started to paint a bit, discover um, perhaps selling of paintings was possible. And then you decided to come back to to Canada because of, particularly because of the visa. Was that, that was the, that's well, right. Well, also, uh, you know, we'd been away two and a half years. Of course, we have to come back to see the family and, mm. you know, and also see what's going on. So I ended this up thing. emigrating twice to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yeah. And so you you arrive over the bridge. It's near near Christmas time? December, yeah. yeah. It's probably December. about the 21st or something. 21st ah, wow, December, that's close. Yeah. December 69. Oh, yeah. Right. We said we would be back for Christmas 69. So right. that was the plan. <laughs> so what were the arrangements and what was there? Was there any plan of... I mean, Christmas was nearly upon us, and uh, my parents, there was a, uh, well, I think that we had somebody else downstairs, but there were, we used to call it the dungeon, so uh, they said, hey, Paul, you, you know, you can stay here, we'll set something up in our basement, right? Mm-hmm. So that, it was always dark down there, he could sleep forever, <laughs> but so Paul did stay with us for actually the next 10 months. Uh, until we left for Mexico. This episode is kind of covering a bit of travelling, but also the idea of the of the birth of Apollo. The idea of that was born almost as soon as you came back. That's right. Well, yeah. my and Paul's uh, first oil paint uh, set yeah, my father bought as a Christmas gift. That's right. And uh, so father said, okay, you you know you're writing from Berlin, talking about a gallery. So he said. I've got an idea. I've been looking around for larger space that would entail the frontage for a gallery. Then Nanomi office, you know, yeah. because mm. in Vancouver they just had an office. And at the back would be a studio for Paul. Mm. And yeah. so we That's said, good. okay, sounds great. And father said, well, okay, you can work for the gallery and for Nanomi. And so I even had a loft, a ladder leading oh, yeah, up to a loft. Did, yeah. Yeah. Well, Father, then he said, uh, what do you think of Apollo Gallery, like for the name? Yeah. And, um, you know, it's the god of, well, many things, including Apollo, beauty god of, god and of art. Apollo, god of the arts, wasn't it? Yeah. All the arts and culture. So yeah. we said, well, yeah, we like it. And actually, there was quite a few Greeks that, in that were area, moving yeah. into our area. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we mm. said, it's your gallery, so... You know, we did pay, uh, the gallery paid half the rent and Nanomi paid the other half. Yeah. And we had rented this space from the bank that was just next door to us. But, I mean, we went to, when, what date did we go to Hawaii? I don't we know. went, uh, I think it was March, just towards April. the end of March. Hmm. Yeah, We were oh, there three okay. weeks because the gallery opened April 15th. Yeah, sure. Ah. So we had to, get the, had to get the gallery set up and yeah. then I had to do painting. So I did a... My father's friend, he was a, uh, a punter, Bob. Uh, he was a uh, builder. And so he also, you know, brought in all these big panels. Yeah. So this could be extra exhibit, uh, ex- exhibition space. And, mm-hmm. th- yeah, and this was all in front of, you know, the other office where I was. But it was good because it was right on the street. So we had a lot of foot traffic. Yeah, big win. So I think we we were selling paintings a week after we opened the doors. It was quite mm. good, actually. And and your your father had he hadn't had any experience of run of having a gallery, but is it no. because he he'd been hanging around a lot of creative people that he kind of knew well, how it would work? Yeah, you know, he's a businessman, so you know he knows how to set up a business and mm. then of course we're there yeah. i mean everything really just depends on the artist you, you know what i mean like if he's if he's good it wouldn't even matter mm. uh you know the, about the setup so much it doesn't have to be you know the most elegant gallery it's just getting the paintings up and yeah you know and that was it and then we 
We're planning our Hawaiian time. Yeah. <laughs> and so this surprise, so this was a, a nice surprise, extra Christmas present to go yeah, off to, right. to Hawaii. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. And the plane, in those days, you had silver service on the plane. So, I mean, you, mm. you, it's like luxury, yeah, you know. Very nice. Back then. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, great, great real food. Real knives and forks. Real knives and forks. S- real yeah, yeah. cloth serviettes. <laughs> and he'd rented a penthouse in Waikiki, so beautiful view from the top of the top of the building, looking over the ocean. And, wow. Yeah, so it's great. So anyway, then he said, he, I said, well, I want to go out and sell paintings. Your father went to City Hall. So he Hall. went to City Hall and got a permit <laughs> for me. Yeah. In those days, no problem. Didn't even ask whether I was American or not. Hmm. And so the next thing I know, I'm uh, setting up on Kalakaua Avenue with all my paintings out and s- sketching at the same time. And hmm. that was a lot of fun as well. And uh, do you, had either of you been to Hawaii before? No, I guess. No, no. that was the first time. No. Yeah. What were your first impressions of Hawaii? Hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is really? when you're getting, yeah. getting yeah. off the plane the first it's time. It's very humid. Coming from winter in Vancouver to uh, like... 80, 90 degree temperature. You, you felt it as soon as you, it, yeah. the air hit you as you got off the pl- off the mm. plane, you know. But, but you know what? You acclimatize in yeah, no time. Yeah, it was wonderful, know. the weather. Oh, so, yeah. uh, you know, the Polynesian islands, uh, you know, the palm trees, uh, everything tropical. Yeah, it rains like, oh, a little yeah. bit every evening just to cool it, mm. to cool everything down. It's all oh, perfect. And the Hawaiian people are very easy and... You know, mm. it's, right. it's really quite something <laughs> Hawaii. So I was selling on the, I was selling on Kalakaua Avenue, and then uh, one day I was these guys I used to meet and get friendly with on the street, you know, and they hand me this uh, brown paper bag with a, a bottle of wine inside. So mm. we drink, you know, during the day, which was illegal, but we'd be drinking out of this. And then Joanne came one day, and I gave the bag to her. She took a swig, and the next thing you know is a cop car pulls up. Two cops jump out, yeah, big grab guy. a hold of Joanne, <laughs> put, oh. put her in the back, and take her away, charging her with drinking yeah, and on the street. <laughs> and that guy must have been about six foot five. Yeah. He was huge. And anyway, so... You had your fingerprints taken Fingerprints, photo. And I had to turn up later with her passport to get her, to bail her out. And I recognized her. No, I, I mean, I didn't really... M- <laughs> it was just another experience, so I, I wasn't mm. really too worried because I knew Paul would probably... There she was behind <laughs> bars yeah. with all oh these God. prostitutes. <laughs> anyway, we were supposed to go back to uh, get the pay the fine or whatever. We did go to the mm. courthouse. Yeah, we went to the courthouse, and then as soon as the case was brought up, the judge just dismissed it. Yeah. We yeah. were all Ridiculous, ready to, you know, you know, I don't know, have some speech ready for I you. wanted to say something, but, you know, in the end, it was better to just get out of there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. We, we, we paid nothing. Trouble, yeah. It probably yeah we don't want any bad publicity. And then we after got... that, we were mm. up the beach doing some surfing, body surfing on a, on a, one of the beaches. You have to. And my yeah. fa- and my father in law bounced off a rock head first, <laughs> oh, ends gosh. up with a gash, six inch gash on his forehead. Oh. Mm. I grab him, all the blood's pouring out. We we race him to this local doctor's type hos- clinic, clinic or hospital. Yeah. Clinic, yeah. So he gets sewn up. And uh, and that was, you know, he luckily didn't uh, have concussion or anything. Yeah, very lucky. At least lucky. we don't think so at the time. <laughs> mm. And he gets so, he gets stitches, and then we buy get back to the uh, penthouse, and uh, oh my God, his head's all, his eyes all swollen, black. His... <gasps> well, father was very sensitive, and he, he, at dinner time, you know, you have his sunglasses on, and then he said, oh, you know. Maybe it'll upset you eating your meal, (laughs) you know. And he said, "Look, father, don't be silly. You know, you're as long as you're okay." But two days later, he had to get the plane back. Oh no! Yeah, so we ended up with the penthouse for the next two weeks by yourselves. Yeah, we had a (laughs) ball. That was pretty nice. Couldn't have worked out any better if he planned it. Yeah, I was going to say all paid holiday. Sounds like a honeymoon, given the uh, yeah. Where, oh, yeah. given given where we'll end up with this interview. It sounds like a pre sure. pre marriage right. honeymoon a bit, but uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah. everything it's always like a honeymoon. Well, we, we couldn't get into the same amount of trouble with uh, her parents. <laughs> mm. That's well, you never know. That's true. But, and so and so you were on this the, the the street you were talking about is what is a seafront street or 
I don't know uh, no, it's one block, one, one block, block from back. the beach. So right. The main main drag, Calicar right. Avenue. And mm. that's always where we've you yeah. know been our whole life, just yeah. a block back. Waikiki. Well, Kiki. wherever we go. <laughs> and and how was business? What, what? Oh, it's great because, I mean, plenty of tourists, a lot of Canadians. And I was painting, th- and in those days I was selling at very reasonable prices. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. But I was selling everything I did. That ends, so, so the, the 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 honeymoon ends, and we're back yeah. to uh, back to Vancouver, Vancouver. to I guess uh, serious business and uh, start That's the gallery right. going. So how did um, how did things start getting kicked off when the, the the opening was as soon as you got back, more or less? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. More or less, yeah. yeah. Sort of a wine and yeah, cheese I guess... opening. I mean, that sort of classic gallery opening yeah. was it? Yes, yeah. yes. And, uh, yeah, Kitsilina is a good area and, you know, also it's a, a, a good walking area because many shops. And so people, of course, that, you know, they're always dropping in. In fact, I could never get my work done, you know, <laughs> for me. Yeah. You know, we can talk so, so long about Paul's work, but, you know, I was also working for Nanomi. You know, I had a lot of work to do every day. We had uh, the English salesman. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, we Victor. had uh, Victor Hay. Oh, that's right. We yeah. had a guy come in with a business suit on and a tie. <laughs> and he, he, he was going to, he was a businessman. He said, I'd like to buy a lot of your paintings and we can sell them and everything. And I said, oh, okay, what's the deal? So his idea was, okay, local scenes. Okay, Paul, just uh, West Coast, but I want all these different small sizes. I mean, it sort of drove Paul crazy. They would <laughs> name them like, this is Mini Mini and Max Max, and oh my gosh, we got everything all confused. But he had uh, six, maybe five different... Six? Pseudonames. I had pseudonames oh, for each pseudonyms. one because I had different styles on each each, each page. And what were your pseudonames? They were, uh, well, and, and, and Draca, Rafa... Uh, and the Francisco, uh, <laughs> I, I, and then he said, "Well, we got to have a Canadian one." So I said, "Okay, read." <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, so you. we ended up with six different names on different styles. And he had a group of young fellows that went door to door. Actually, yeah. I mean, I'd never heard of doing anything like that, but uh, I think a they lot were of, students, and yeah. he, each one had a different style, and they probably said they were the artist. Yeah, they, and they may ended have up done. knocking on doors and uh, actually did very, very well. Yeah, they did very well. They sold a lot of paintings. Some days I was painting like 50, 60 paintings a day. <laughs> well, they're what? small, right? Yeah. They're little wee paintings. Little so. ones, maybe one foot square or something. You know. But and Paul that... does have a technique. <laughs> yeah. The actual pseudonym. So you're actually signing the paintings differently or not? Yes. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Some people today come up and say, "Say, oh, I've got a Francisco. Is that one of those? <laughs> uh, oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, no. Going back to sort of the opening and that first week, how how did that go? Very good. Oh, we had we had people from down the, the street who came and bought a big painting, and uh, then you had the uh, cowboys. The co- oh, that was yeah, right. Russells. I had a, ja- ja- a guy who really loved uh, Russell all of his paintings yeah, and he wanted me to copy a bunch of them so I was painting cowboy scenes for about, about a dozen cowboys and Indians dozens of them yeah. for him that's Charles Russell is it yeah Charles Russell yeah. yeah and well he didn't know that he would be you know in the area like in Arizona at that's right later date, on yeah right all around the cowboys and natives and so you you put you Paul were in in the back room so you had your own uh, studio. That's right. Space yeah. in the back own, of behind the gallery, as it were, I guess. Behind the gallery and yeah. behind the office. Uh, yeah. I, I even had a door that opened up into it, so oh, it was private. That's right. Yeah. And then you had access and then to I had the a back, back door, door into the outside where my car was yeah. parked. Yeah. But Father first uh, had said, uh, "Hey, uh, I think it'd be a good idea for us to take some lessons from Paul because." My father was member of the Canadian Federation, and in the end, he became secretary of the Canadian Federation. So he had been taking lessons for many, many years, and uh, and he continued, you know, right to his last day, just mm. about. But he said, "Hey, why don't uh, why don't we come in at eight, three times a week, <laughs> and Paul can teach us for uh, you know an hour before we start work?" Yeah. And I said, "Well, okay, Father, let's try." 